What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 10th intermediate draft tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over some more collection methods specifically for a list. So let's uh, quit talking, go ahead and get started. Uh, as you can see, go ahead and just import everything from the java.util class because we're going to need a bunch of stuff for it. So might as well just go ahead and import everything. And the first thing we're going to do is, I'll comment this out for you, is we want to create an array and then we want to convert it to a list. So go ahead and leave a comment, create an array and convert to list. Bam, game time. So now we need to pretty much create an array. Um, you can create it with any data type you want. I'm just going to use characters because it's really easy to show in this example. So go ahead and type character and I'm going to name my array Ray because I feel like it. And just uh, set it equal to any number of characters. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to set mine equal to P, W, and N. So it spells pwn. Kind of. So, alright, so now we have an array of three characters, so we're good to go. And now, since we're going to be performing methods in the collections uh, class, we need to make a list. So go ahead and make a list, and of course, we want to put character, uh, since we want to cast that. And you can name your list anything you want, I'm just going to name mine L, because I'm too lazy to type anything longer than that. And what we need to do... Uh, as you learned in the last tutorial, or maybe a couple tutorials ago, the easiest way to convert an array to a list is just go ahead and put arrays from the arrays class, and there's a method called as list. Look, it already started typing it for us. And then as your parameter, you put what array do you want to convert to a list. Well, let's go ahead and convert that array we just made, named array, into a list. Now, after this, we want just a little display of what we did. So go ahead and put system out print line and you can just print um, pretty much anything you want I'm just gonna go ahead and put list is put a colon space and now we're gonna write output and as your parameter you want to output that list and you see we get an error message right here because we didn't create the method output yet it's not a built-in method so we're gonna be creating this later on so we're gonna get an error as we're programming it but um, when we're done with this tutorial outside of the main method right here we're going to be creating another method to fulfill this requirement so now that we're done with this little chunk of code what we need to do first is as promised call methods from the collections class and as you know when you call methods from the collections class they also apply to lists because list inherits everything from method I mean collections so let's go ahead and leave another comment and put reverse and print out the list and make sure you have a couple typos in there because you know it just looks cool and from here we can go ahead and put collections dot reverse and this is the very first collections method I'm going to tell you what this method does is pretty much take any collection and reverse it so go ahead and pass in L since remember L is a list and a list is a collection so that's why we're able to do this and what this does is it alters the list by reversing everything so let's go ahead and system out print line and just go ahead and add a little comment be like after reverse doesn't matter if you type that right or not and now we just need to go ahead and output L again but unlike before where it's just in normal order it's now going to be re reversed if we coded it right so now we have, um, what we did is we created an array and then we converted it to a list right here. And right here we took that list and reversed everything. So alright, this is pretty cool, but what else can we do to a list? Well, if we ever need a copy of a list, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to do this. The easiest way probably is to make an array of the exact same size create that array or excuse me convert that array to a list so now you have an empty list that's the same size as the original and you can call a method called copy which pretty much takes everything from the first list and puts it in your new list that you just created so now they're pretty much the exact same list and you have two copies so now that I told you how to do it let's uh, go ahead and put the code down so we're gonna create a new array and a new list and from here just name it character 
uh, I'll name it new ray for new array and just go ahead and sequel equal to new character and for your parameters put three since there's three characters we're gonna be passing in now let me itch my eye and oh, that felt good so list and of course we're gonna be just creating it same as before character data and what am I gonna name this one I will name it list copy how original is that so set this equal to array dot as list same as before and instead of um, putting what do we do put last time ray in here what we want to do is take this new ray that we just made the new array and now it views this as a list so now what we're pretty much going to be working with is just list copy right here and what this is is a copy of the same list as before or excuse me it's pretty much a blank list with three elements in it so now what we want to do is copy the contents of list into list copy easy enough so let's go ahead and add a comment copy contents of lists into list copy and make sure you spell that wrong because it looks cool and what you can do from here is collections dot copy and copy is a built-in method so that's why we don't have to create the method ourselves and it's a method in the uh, collections class and now you see by default you get two parameters if you're using clips and that's destination and source the destination is where you want to copy it to and we just have this blank list called list copy so that's what we're going to be this is what we're going to be populating list copy and it says alright the source is where you want to get the data from well we already have this list that's populated and named L and it already has stuff in it so let's go ahead and as our source put L in essence what this does is it takes everything from L and it puts it into list copy and I'm actually running out of time for this tutorial so I'm gonna finish up in the next tutorial but uh, for now I just want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial